Welcome, everyone, to the Real Hoopians cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with the Timeless. What's up, hey. Jesse? How hey. are you? I'm good. All right. So I know we're waiting for Comic Con's trail of series 11 <laughs> Doctor Who. But a lot of people and a lot of news agencies and even the BBC themselves have listed on the site beforehand that we were getting a trailer for the World Cup. And then they were, like, miscommunicating that it was a teaser trailer, but they said yeah. trailer. So we're all going into it watching, thinking, oh, my God, Jodie Whittaker, this is going to be great, whatever. Yeah. What was your take on it? Oh, God. Um, I watched it, and I was like, okay, cool. It's showing us the companions, although they're called friends now, apparently. Hi. Not, not companions. But, um... I was just like, okay, there's little magic trails leading to them saying they're going to be, you know, touched by the doctor, you know, their lives are going to be touched by the doctor at some point. But then she's also messing with their lives, you know, changing their newspaper to a comic book and stealing, as, you, as, you've, <laughs> as you've noticed, stealing a pizza. Well, you know? <laughs> I, I, I guess it's, impo it's politically incorrect to say there's no Sorry. evidence that she stole a pizza. She to apologize. Her. She, she reverse time and the pizza came out of someone's stomach and appeared in a box how about that there we go she gave, oh, she gave more pizza all right, right. <laughs> she just had pizza appear in the box mm. okay uh and then she's smiling now i i've asked the women on my cast their interpretation of it because again this is the first female doctor yeah being that you're a woman too how are you you know were you offended by this or not really? No. Okay. It wasn't like anything like in your face. It was just nothing overly feminine, nothing overly non-feminine. It was just... Did you like it? Um, meh. Meh. <laughs> I mean, it was a teaser. I mean, it's okay not to like it. I, I didn't like it. Yeah, it didn't tell me much. It right. just kind of showed... The, the characters, because I've only seen them in pictures, so you just see them acting a little tiny bit. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, you know, kind of get the the feel of how they're gonna be. You know, she, she's she's gonna be overly happy about everything. It seems like, and they're just gonna be right. Nice right. Uh, do you think? That, I mean, have you seen a lot of reaction videos to this? Personally, no, okay. I have not. <laughs> I mean, you've heard, though, people talking about the Speed Force, like she's running around like the Flash, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. that, that's apparent that everybody's been coming to the same conclusions or little digs. Okay, yeah. so th I think, again, I don't know if this was such a good idea, but, I mean, I did like the way she looked and she smiled. Is that, yeah. I mean, I could say that. I mean, yeah. other than that, uh, no, I really didn't think in my wildest dream I get to watch the companions or friends eat and that's gonna show me yeah. how they're gonna be i mean i i can't draw any conclusions how great companions are gonna be by them holding a fork or eating so i'm yeah. sorry they're all gonna be <laughs> constantly hungry <laughs> yeah like we're hungry for doctor who trailers that we're not mm -hmm. getting but anyway we're getting a trailer on thursday right so i'm yeah. happy about that um now so what do you think of the season? Do you think they're handling everything right so far? Do you think you, they would do things differently? Like you would do things differently with a teaser? I mean, wouldn't you show something? Yeah, I would try to show a little bit more. Like of tease the show? Maybe, yeah. Instead of the like, food? Yeah, I would try to show like how the characters are going to act at least a little bit instead of them staring off into the distance with food. You know, like... Is this one going to be moody all the time? Is this one going to be helpful all the time? You know, show a little bit of their characteristics instead of... See, now, I come from touched. a weird background, like being in retail, being in marketing, being mm. all this. So when I give an opinion about how I would market her, you know, people don't understand. I've been in marketing before. I'm not saying I've been in BBC marketing or, whatever, or UK marketing, but wouldn't you market the show like showing off something? Like... Uh, yeah. uh, Maybe a Dalek or or Zygon or something. Or like you know, give us something that we we can see that this is a the longest science fiction show in history and not something that might be on the Food Network. Because I mean, for people people that didn't know what Doctor Who was, they're yeah, they kind of confused it. about it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, so I don't know if that was you know 
But whatever. I'm not a one because no matter what I say, I don't want things to come off negative. Mm-hmm. You know, we are reviewing the teaser and you know, we're allowed to not like one teaser out of every single teaser. I mean, I this is the one teaser Doctor Who I didn't like out of all the teasers we ever had. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I liked every single one of them, but although I didn't like the hashtag thing, that was just stupid thing the doctor did there with the which is the thing with the hashtag, remember? It was forgettable, basically. But anyway. Well, there you go. There That's you go. Remember it. <laughs> um, so what do you expect to see in Comic-Con? I mean, what do you think is going to happen in the trailer? Trailer? Well, hopefully they'll show some scenes from the actual show, because that's what a trailer is supposed to be. I mean, from all, from all like the background pictures that we've gotten, those, those scenes should be at least in the trailer. It's like, ooh, what's going on in this story? What's going on in this story? All I know is that that's probably going to be one of the most boring panels ever because they can't ask anything about the show. It's probably just going to be, who's your favorite doctor? Who's your favorite right. villain? When did you watch Doctor Who? Yeah. How many years have you watched Doctor Who? <laughs> exactly. You about have toys. You have merchandise. Yeah, it can't, can't be like, so what was it like going up against the... Because uh, we don't know. We Thank don't know you. who Thank you, Chibi. <laughs> Thank you for, for hiding everything from us. Uh, we've heard from our sources here and there that hasn't really been confirmed yet because one, they haven't filmed the finale yet Mm. because they're still filming. Now, there's been confusion that we were told that the finale is a Christmas themed Mm. episode finale. Not a special because if it was a special, it would be 10 plus one. Yeah. But there's been miscommunications with the BBC saying that, oh no, there's a special. But is it an extra episode? Because mm-hmm. I know people are sent to think it's Christmas a special, which yeah. I, I, I would, but not according to the UK, because when they do it, they're like, Christmas special is an extra episode. So yeah. do you think we're getting an extra episode? I would hope so. Do you want an extra episode? Yeah, I like, I like the full season, and then you have something to look forward to like a month or two after, where it's like, oh, okay, yay, there's a Christmas special. You know, it's kind of a yeah. tradition at this point, but... I don't want I one less episode and then a Christmas episode. Yeah. Um, I heard that the Daleks are in the finale. We haven't confirmed that. I mean, the Daleks are in like, well, like 80% of the finales, really, or 75% yeah. of the new group. But I mean, okay. Um, we heard these things that Olivia Coleman is going to appear maybe at the end of the season or early next season as the biggest villain, whatever that means, or that she wants to be the biggest villain. She said it to the regular peop- you know, people out there, and then she met with Chibi, mm. and he said, yeah, you could be in Doctor Who. I know she was the original choice for the Doctor, and she said no, and then he went with you know, uh, Jodie Whittaker. Um, do you think that she's going to be playing Missy Regenerated, or could she be playing the Ronnie, or could she be playing some other villain? Oh, can we please bring the Ronnie back? We need some more Ronnie love. Yeah. <laughs> we really do. I know. The I mean, I, I know. Time. I know. Moffat had a choice. Oh, do I bring the Ronnie back or the Great Intelligence? So I'm gonna bring Great Intelligence back. People are like, who? What? You know, it's like <laughs> didn't even explain it too. He's like, oh, nobody knows who the Ronnie is, but let me show everybody who they don't know who the Great Intelligence. Is. I was like, okay. Oh boy, yeah, Ronnie would be nice. Yeah, because she, she's think- less um psychotic. The master is psychotic. Well, you don't count. We don't count dimensions of time because she was pretty psychotic in the dimensions. Well, yeah. Of well, time. I don't yeah. really count dimensions in time for anything, to be yeah. honest. No, <laughs> that, that was a fever dream. <laughs> the Ronnie cloned me, and and I'm a savage, but I'm wearing Woodstock hippie clothing. It's like okay, what? I don't oh. know. That was that was the weirdest thing ever. Was. <laughs> um. So Ron, we want the Ronnie proper. Yes. Not counting dimensions in time. No. Um, I heard some rumors that the Rosa Parks thing may be a Zygon episode. Do you think that's a Zygon episode? And do you think that we should have love for Zygons because they've been represented kind of <laughs> in the wrong way? I mean, I don't know. Are you a fan of the Zygons? Or? I, I like the Zygons. I like, um, I like more of the classic Zygons because they like, if, if a human saw them, they would like, you know, kind of like disintegrate, you know, right. whatever. But now there was a thing where they were trying to be like equal. Yeah. You know, and they were living on Earth with us and stuff. And yeah. Yeah. 
but I don't know how that would work for a Rosa Park episode. I it's a rumor, like that, though. It's a rumor. I'm glad it's a rumor because I feel yeah. like that wouldn't be um, respectful. <laughs> yes, we, we have a lot of we have a lot of concerns about the Rosa Parks episode, as we've said many guests. And yeah, um, it's not Rosa Parks. It's a Zygon, you know, like right. What? That's not Rosa Rosa Parks. It's a Zygon, baby. It's like yeah. okay. It's like okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Alan Cummings um, is going to be in Doctor Who. Oh, nice. You know, from Spy using Spy Kids. There's yeah. a lot of different things. Um, yeah. He's going to be – now, originally also we heard that he was offered the role to be the doctor at some point. Not necessarily by Chris Chibnall, but I believe by Stephen Moffat. I'm not sure about that. Mm. And then he said yes, but he's like, how long am I going to be filming? Ten months? Oh, hell no. Yeah. And then that was the end of that. Um, but, of course, they will be open to playing a role, which he's yeah. going to be supposedly a reoccurring villain, I think. Hmm. Which I don't know how that would be. And he's from the past. And then maybe he's in the present. I don't know. So that's gonna be interesting. Then we have the Salem Witch trials that supposedly is sorta of like a Halloween special that we've been asking for. Yay. But it's not a special, but uh it supposedly happens when by the time it rolls out it will be around Halloween. Um so that should be interesting. Yeah. Oh my god, are they gonna try and burn Jody at the stake? <laughs> it's that fanny pack. It's, it's gotta be. It's evil. <laughs> fanny packs are evil. I'm sorry, bum bag. Bum bag. Is that what they call it? A bump bag? Bum, bum bag, yeah. Bump bag for females and fanny pack for males, or just a bump bag? It's bum just a bag. term. His, his fanny over there refers to well, not oh. just the bum. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I used to have a fanny pack, so to speak, with my Marvel Comics logo on it back in the, God, 80s, right? Mm. It was 80s, 90s? Yeah. Yeah, I used to go to wrestling. <laughs> so, uh, we also hear she constructs her own Sonic Screwdriver, which is not unheard of because she is I smart see, enough. Yeah, and also Rom- Romana made her own, so why not the Doctor make her own? I mean, it's I feel it's kind of cheated that the TARDIS is like, look! What about, <laughs> oh, it's ready, pop! Bing. Yeah. But I am... I, um, Actually, what I've seen of the new Sonic, I like it because it's more simplistic. Because with the modern ones, it's gotten more and more convoluted in design. Yeah, how many buttons are there and just... Yeah, it looks also looks ergonomic, too. So if I could in her hand... It doesn't look masking off at me. It just looks like a weird Sonic screwdriver alien thing. Yeah. A black stick with a red light. And I don't think, like, another thing, too, is, like, I don't think the Doctor really is wasting time thinking that he's a woman. I mean, we saw the oh. clip, and he's like, am I? You know, she's like, am I? Yeah, okay, yeah. and then she goes right back into, yeah, that's nice. Like, oh, I have a new shirt on? Okay. It's like... Who, who are you calling madam? Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, like he got, he's like, he got offended or something. Then he's like, oh, I am? All right. And it's like, oh, yeah. Ah, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Right, where were we? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So her, her brain is a little squished cheese from the regeneration sickness, I believe, which yeah. we don't really know if she cracks her head open when she lands or Probably. where she's going to land on. So she's going to be regenerating the last of the energy left. And uh, the doctor always gets sick yeah. when it comes to regeneration energy, Un- unlike the master who's like, okay, and he's running around instantly. Yeah. And everybody else, that's a time lord. But I guess the doctor just didn't take that course or something. Well, whatever, like when you're regenerating. So she'll go through the whole episode, and then by the end, I'm, I'm assuming like, she remembers I'm everything. the doctor. Yeah, you go. And here's my toys. It just appears. Look. Ooh. It's like, yeah. okay. What do you think the design's going to be? Of the TARDIS? Yeah. Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> Are you worried I... or you're happy? I mean, maybe it might be something great. No, I... I'm I think always... it's going to be like Pete Paul McGann's TARDIS. Like I hope big. so. I, I think it's going to be big, like a little bar for like coffee bar, or, like a little cool. thing. I think it's just going to be a big thing, like a hangout, like friends type of thing well, yeah. with a couch, like hangout thing. Companions now, they're going to need room for them. There's probably a couch in there. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be like a coupling friends big yeah. thing. I hope, I hope it's like Paul McGann's, but maybe like the steampunk way too, because that was like an awesome design, but it was only seen once. And then we went right back to, actually, we didn't go back to Roundels. We went to hexagons or whatever. <laughs> Like, they need something, like, after they almost died, 
they come in the TARDIS and they just crash on the couch. Yeah. Like this exactly. big, <laughs> yeah. used, alien type couch that you could fit like 100 people on and they're just like, like fluffy and comfortable. They can just boom, jump in there. Like, yeah. oh, we just lived. Thank God we didn't get killed by the Daleks. Oh, man. <laughs> Got a paper cut. Damn. No, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what up? It should be pretty funny. I mean, I, I'm sure it's going to be cool. I, I honestly believe it's going to be a wide, huge TARDIS. Yeah. Council room slash sitting area or whatever. I think it's going to be like more um, friend, fun, a friend, um, friendly, like a just nice, you know, hangout yeah. area. I, anyway, that's what I think. I would do that anyway. Um, do you think there's going to be any episodes in here on her first season that's going to be jaw dropping? Like, I'm talking like. Missy and the Master type jaw dropping. Like, oh my God, they went there. Uh, what? Maybe. Katie Manning, Joe Grant's in it. It's like, you don't think they're going to be like any. Oh, it would be awesome because it was re- Jody revealed that her go to phrases in the show will be brilliant and ace. So I thought she- it was going to be shame because I like the way she said that too. Like, shame. Oh, shame. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a cool thing too. But. So she's going to say ace. Hmm. Yeah, I think it would be awesome if, um, like, if they, let's say they're in a restaurant or something, she goes, Ace, and someone, tur- and someone turns around and goes, I haven't heard that name in years, and it's Sophie Alger. Oh! You be, like, <laughs> well, yeah, right, you imagine? That would be great. It would be like, it's like, Ace, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Call me? What? <laughs> and she's appearing in the class, class audios, audio. which is interesting because yeah. they don't explain the finale in the class audios they hmm. are dancing around it like which makes me want to think that there's a reason behind that they don't want to resolve it because the show was canceled but yet they don't want to resolve the biggest thing so i mean are they going to think that maybe it's going to come back i think it's kind of more of a, like a reboot kind of way in uh, yeah. audio it's like okay the, the televised version didn't quite work out let's try and reformulate it in audios and it's ace like, is going to be with them yeah, is she a teacher or is she just there? Somehow they're going to do a <laughs> like sequel to Remembrance of the Daleks, but she's like older, but like, like what? I mean, I don't know if you really could do it. Why don't we just say that they have Daleks in it and it's not a sequel to Remembrance of the Daleks. It's just yeah, right? Daleks in it because Davros is not going to be in it from that point in time, and it's not set in that point in time, I don't think, so I don't know why it would be a... But whatever, I mean, I'm glad that they threw somebody in there that's a companion of the Doctor, and I don't think anything's wrong with calling them companions, because that, that was a name that was used for like 54 years, but okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Now, you saw the action figures, right? The toys? Yes. The... Okay. Yes. Do you like them, or do you think some of them are like? Okay, um, I saw I saw that movement with your body language. Like, <laughs> I, yeah, all right. <laughs> personally, I didn't like the the kawaii line, anyways. I don't I like the line. The, the faces are weird. I mean, I, I'm I'm glad for the artist who drew yes. these. You know, it's like, oh, you got merch now. I mean, I know there was a T-shirt. Right. Um, the yeah, Funko no Pop. A Funko Pop. You know. Yeah, that's fine. It, it looks good. It's fine. Um. I like the action figure because it reminds me of like Amigo because it has um, the cloth clothing. I don't like the Titan at all. I, I, I it's like a man, <laughs> like it's like a mold of Peter Capaldi putting a, a wig on or something or, or Captain a, Jack mold. Yeah, I have a weird like love hate relationship with the Titans. I don't have any of the Titan vinyls, okay. but it's because it's a cartoon body with a very realistic face. Right. I mean, it kind of looks like Jody. It's just that t- it's too angular. Right. But it's they're creepy. I find they're creepy. Oh, creepy. <laughs> I mean, I got to tell you, when I go get food out of my fridge, there's like a million Titans on the top. I don't know if you ever see it. I have all my Doctor Who Titans chilling. Okay. And I have Clara holding the Raven. And I'm like, I, that's like one of my favorite ones. I'm like, yeah. And then I got like, you know, uh, a shoulder like right next to her. And I got Missy and Capaldi. And then I got all the other ones like David Tennant's over here. And it's like, you know. Ten Doctor. So I do like most of them, but then there's some of them that are hit and miss. Like I just don't like why did you do it? Like I'm not happy with the River Song Titan because 
her head is so like her hair is so big that I have to lean her on other Titans. Yeah. She falls over. <laughs> And if you turn it around, it looks like a chestnut. It doesn't even look like her hair. Like you actually could think it's a chestnut or something. So oh no. I'm not happy with the River Song Titan. And um, there's a few of them I don't like either. But I, you know, I get them or whatever. So they haven't had anything that wooed me lately. But yeah. then again, they haven't really had that many sets lately either. So I'm hoping we get some stuff. Now, do you think that we're gonna have? Because I know we have like Jody Whitaker's outfit and. This is, is there gonna be stuff for guys to have too? Are they gonna have like shirts too? Because like all I see is like the female this, the, this shirt, this thing, this. I mean, I heard we might have a Cyberman shirt, but is that really part of the series? I mean, do you think they're gonna have? Do you think there's gonna be any? Let me let me rephrase the question. Do you think there's going to be any reoccurring monsters from the classic and new new series, like a Weeping Angel or like a, or a Cyberman or something? I feel, I feel like that the thing with modern now is like every season there has to be a Cyberman and there has to be a Dalek. I think the Dalek one has to do with like the Terry Nation estate. Yeah, yeah. Like that. There's they have a to keep it going. Yeah, yeah well, there's a contract, yeah. That's understandable because if you want to use the Daleks and you don't use it for a year, you're not going to get it again. You're out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's understandable. But I think maybe they should just slightly appear. Like maybe it's an opening, like – something happens where a Dalek ship explodes or something. Just show them a little bit, but don't have a whole Like entire Waters of Mars. They had like five, 10 seconds, right? And they were like, they go, they didn't kill um, the one as a girl in Waters of Mars. And then they left her alive because they knew the timeline that later on she would be important. Remember she was yeah. with the dying Mars. Yeah. And then there yeah, was a, yeah. the one winning river song. He opened up the Dalek and he's talking to it, Matt Smith. Yeah. And then it was that, that was it. Then we were out for the whole exactly. season. It was like, that, yeah. that should be what it is because we are so – I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Daleks, but we're so oversaturated with them now. Same with the Cybermen. I mean, with – um. yep, completely forgot the name of the episode. That's great. Uh, the one with the, Mon the Mondasian Cybermen with um, Peter Capaldi. Yes. That was, that was great. We had Mondasian Cybermen's back. Right. It was the it was the Dr. Falls was the last part. And then yeah. Before, and, but that was, they yeah. ruined it. They ruined it because they had to use the new Cybermen in there too. And yeah, they I don't had like the Mondasian things. Cybermen's flying too. And I'm like, that's no, no they don't no. fly. Yeah, just just mention the modern ones and then have the class. Oops, sorry. Then have the classics. You know, I yes. don't. We need something new. Yeah, Sil, do Sil. Yeah, please. <laughs> he, will he ever come back? I don't know. I don't know. I think he. I think he mentioned he'd be up to doing audios. I don't know if he'd be up. Yeah. To, I don't know if he would be up to doing um, a television program. That would be I mean, cool if he does. Maybe he's related to the guys that were in um, and the end of time. Remember, like they were like their species was related or something like that. The Vashi, was it the Vashi was related to him? The cactus somehow? people. Yeah, weren't they related oh. to him somehow or something? I think they were related. No, they were related to Bana Cavalata, the red they, version. They're related to Baba Cavalata, really. Not familial, but the species. Oh, okay. One's red, one's green. I thought they were related to Sil. Okay. Well, Sil would be nice if he came back. He I mean, even, cool, even if he can't act as the character, he can still do the voice. Yeah. That'd and be cool. and, he ha and Sil is not um, the biggest fan of beauty. Right. So he, he thought Perry was like one of the most ugliest things he ever right, seen. Right, 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 right. So no, that, no, that would good. be fantastic, like to react to the, like the doctor as a female now. It's like, oh, you've gotten uglier or something. I like know, that. right? Do you think we're ever gonna have like? Do you think Chris Chibnall is the type of showrunner that goes backwards and shows off old companions and just has them? Because I know Moffat had a thing he don't go back, but then he does go back. It was yeah. like weird, you know. I ha I don't know much about Chris Chibnall to really know like to get a feel for him yeah we don't know yet yeah but if we go back don't go modern back you know like don't bring clara back don't bring rose back i mean right. if you want to bring if you want to bring donna back that's fine i i just i just love donna but well, we had a rumor that he um i guess because of russell t davis that harry jones may appear because she's still alive according to russell now t we davis are 300? yeah <laughs> in a poem that, book She's so, <laughs> like, we never saw her die. Yeah, oh, I mean, it's like, oh, it's like, yeah, okay. I mean, see, see Harriet Jones. That actually might be cool. 
Yeah. I mean, cause she, she was, she played a big role, but she was also a character that you kind of laugh at. Yeah. But she, but she could do dark things as well. I mean, you know. the, it, and, it and the doctor great. did some dark things. He made the whole world just exactly make but her resign, great. which is really messed up. Yeah. But okay, it would be great if she just showed up and she goes like, "Hello, I'm Harriet Jones," and the, and Jody just goes, "I know who you are." Yes, <laughs> that would be great. That. I love that too. Wow. That'll be awesome. All right, so we're looking forward to the trailer on Thursday. Yeah, I'll be at and, work, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at work too, but we will be doing massive coverage on it. I'm oh, yeah. hopeful that she won't have pizza in it and deliver it. Even though pizza's like my favorite food, um, <laughs> she won't just magically let a pizza appear and we actually be showing off the longest running science fiction show in history. You know, maybe this is a, a nice hint way. that the food machine will come back. The one from Hartnell. Yes, where they made everything taste. I was just back. talking about that the other night. <laughs> But you know what, though? It would be nice if maybe pizza is her favorite food. Mm. That would be nice. Because we know the doctors, you know, some doctors like pears. Well, most of them don't like pears. I guess all of them don't like pears. Yeah, but understand. fish fingers and custard and whatever, you know, so. Yeah. Never know. All right. Thank you, Jesse. No problem. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.